Hello there YouTube and Visual Basic Fanatics. Okay, um, this is the fifth time I am making this video actually because every time it is just a little bit too long so I decided well fine I'm gonna make two videos. I even have to prove it my video of <laughs> 16 minutes 31 um, even though I do have 15 minutes, it's a minute and 31 too long, and I thought it might go, but it didn't. So, um, I'm going to make two videos, very slowly, very carefully, and um, we'll take it from there. So the video I'm making is actually a, um, a second stage to control Excel from a VB project. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how to extract um, information from an Excel workbook. Alright, um, so if you've seen the previous video, um, I've already gone to the properties and I've added the object libraries, okay, and also the interop um, that I've selected, there we go, okay, so I've added the interop and everything like that. Um, I've also added a label, a text box, a button, and a list view. Okay, um, the list view itself, the only properties that I've changed is the view I've changed to details. Okay, I've also changed multi select to false. Alright, I've also changed um, grid lines to true and full row select to true. Okay, then I've created a couple of columns. I've created five columns one, two, three, four, five and I've named them column 1, column 2, 3, 4 and answer okay and I'll explain why there's an answer um, I've also went and I've already created a workbook that um, we can be using with uh, our little video today and uh, the workbook itself consists out of a couple of columns and a couple of rows that's obviously a column that's obviously a row Okay, so on row 1, column 1, we have that value. Row 1, column 2, we have R1 to C2, obviously. Row 1, column 3, row 1, column 4, and row 1, answer. In this line, I, um, I'm just throwing some ideas, but um, I would expect a person to have a value, 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 and over here they would have a formula that would calculate the total sum of those values or whatever formula they want to put in there so um, it really doesn't matter how many lines alright how many lines um, we're going to be working with as long as there's a set amount of columns should be fine okay we can actually make it but it's going to take too long so for this video we're just going to work with a couple doesn't matter how many you put in there it's going to look and see where the value ends and then it's going to import that information for us okay so that's already saved I'm going to close that and back to our project there is no code I have removed the code from the previous video alright um, just so that we can start all fresh and new and um, let's go for it so the first thing I want to do is I want to add a file dialog file open open file dialog okay and we're gonna select a file from the um, system itself so we're gonna go me dot open file dialog one dot file name equals nothing okay we reset the name of the open file dialog the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say if me dot open file dialog one dot show dialog equals dialog result ok then me dot text box one dot text equals me dot open file dialog one dot file name so all we did is said if you click the button we allow the user to select a file click a button select a file and there we go so the file name is now in our text box okay now before we carry on um, there's a couple of things that I would like to um, show and one of them is a structure so I'm gonna go create a private structure and I'm gonna call this um, Excel rows 
Okay. The private structure has a couple of items in it. I'm going to go dim c1 as a string. And then I'm going to copy and paste it. 3, 4, and the answer. That'll be column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, and answer. Okay, so a structure is an object. That's where object orientation, uh, object orientated programming comes from. And the object itself we can work with. For instance, I'm going to go um, private, um, what are we going to call it, Excel row list. as um, a list of Excel rows equals new list of Excel rows okay so what I'm what I've done here is I've created a list and this list contains Excel rows the structure we've just created okay and this section of code says we have created a new list which means it's empty. All right. So once we've clicked the button and we've selected the file, we want the um, system to automatically extract the information. So what we're going to need is a function. Um, sorry, we're going to need to put a function. Let's go private function, and we're going to call this get info. All right, as a boolean. Excuse me. All right. So, um, why am I doing it with the boolean? Well, first of all, what I want to do is I want to have a code or a trigger that shows that I'm completed with the function. So I'm going to go um, dim completed as boolean, and it starts off as a false. And if my code fires and works properly, then at the end, it should have um, where it says completed equals true and then we will return completed to show that get info has now completed its task all right so if um, get info equals true then and then we can write our other section of code on how to populate our list view with the information all right so for here we have um, the section of code that extracts the information and they will put the code that actually populates the information okay so um, to start off with we need to open our workbook and close it so I'm gonna go the my XL as new um, XL dot application my XL dot workbooks open and it will be me dot text box one dot text okay so that allows us to open it we don't actually want to show the workbook for the user so we're just going to close it exactly after we've extracted the information so that'll be my excel um, dot workbooks dot close and my excel equals nothing okay so now that we have the codes that open and close the workbook we can now put that information to extract okay so um, I think for now this is where we're going to stop um, then uh, we can complete this in the next video so as long as you've got um, your structure set up all right you have a list a new list of excel rows you have already got your form in this way um, we can you know select a file and you have this little setup where we have the function okay and you can open and close a workbook 
then what we'll do is in the next video we'll just look at how to extract the information and throw it into our list view okay um, just before we close I just want to say the reason why I am using a structure is because once we've extracted the information and placed it into our list then we can close the workbook and therefore free the resource so other people can use it then and we can still be able to work with this list to extract information okay so um, I shall see you guys in the next video